So I went to Target the other day, right? And I just found a bunch of random books that I kind of want to read now. Cute title. <laughs> that I saw at Target is this one. It's called Gunslinger Girl. It's by Lindsay Ely and I want to read this despite the fact that it's a James Patterson book but I'm also kind of leaning away from it because James Patterson's name is on it. Gunslinger Girl gives me like Rebel of the Sands vibes. Basically about this girl who's like a sharpshooter and the only way out of her like politically corrupt misogynistic town is to win a shooting competition and go to basically like this dystopian society's version of Las Vegas to be in like this sharpshooter show or something. I don't know. I'm into the cover. It gave me some Rebel of the Sand vibes, so I'm definitely interested. The next book that I saw there was this one. It's Follow Me Back by A.V. Geiger. It sounds like all of my favorite cutesy contemporaries, but with a psychological thriller twist. It follows a girl who is the biggest fan of this musician or actor or something named Eric Thorne. She kind of gets into a friendship or relationship or something with like this troll account that is like an anti-Eric Thorne account. It sounds right up my alley. I unfortunately, did get a spoiler on the whole synopsis. I would suggest reading the back of the book and not reading the Goodread synopsis because that just fucks everything up. You know how I felt about people who stalk and murder other people. The next book is one that a lot of people have heard about and it's called The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. It is essentially just a bunch of empowering poems that are beautifully organized and I don't give a fuck. I follow Amanda Lovelace on Twitter and she is a doll and her poetry just seems so beautiful from what I've read of it already. Then I want to read The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. This is just another poetry book, but I've heard that it's beautiful and so inspiring and it follows expatriation and like coming into one's own skin and all this good stuff. So it just sounds like something that my mental health could really use this year. Next book I want to read is Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. I think everybody's heard about this by now. It's like 150 million years old and there's a new movie coming out. It essentially follows a murder mystery on a train. Someone dies and everyone's trying to figure out who done it. I just like Agatha Christie, okay? And the final book that is on my list of random books I saw at Target is Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. This book follows a woman who is charged and imprisoned for life for the murders of, I'm not sure if it's her entire family or if it's like the entire family that she worked for, but she has no recollection of this and it's like a mental health book and like the psychiatrist person who's like the best in their field starts kind of getting into it. And it just sounds right up my alley because once again, murder plus mental health equals me. Those are the random books I spotted at Target the other day that I want to read now. So if you spotted any random books at Target that you want to read now, tell me what they are down below. Bye.